There's a man who was very closely involved with Davy Russell throughout his illustrious career. There's a man who joins me now, Charles Burns. Charles, Davy from World Goal riding as an amateur, you struck up a partnership with him. Well, that's why he he, uh, he he started off really to find the points, and I I, I wasn't really find the point and like, but back then it was all the talks you'd read in the papers, the, the clock exam every 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 Monday. <laughs> it was all Davy Russell. He was riding trebles and four times. I'd say he must have been only about seventeen back then, like. He, he, uh, I used him then in a bump, bumper, remember in Mala. He was claiming seven. <laughs> And he won by 15 in that there. <laughs> and uh, I didn't really have that many you know, horses back then. But uh, Asher, look, he was a sensation, like, you know, from the world go, you know. And you really supported him. When Davy needed supporting, when he came back from Ferdy Murphy's, his, his first year turned professional, he went to England, then he came back, and you got closely involved with him then thereafter. And, as Davey would say, he needed you badly, along with all, a lot of other trainers at that time as well, to get him going. Well, yeah, it's a, it was a tough enough time for him. Like you know, he just he just seemed to hit felt as as a bad time, you know. And uh, he was he was coming back in the weekends. Uh, I said Pat Dyle was probably his main main man, and I I, I supported him as much as much as I could. Again, I didn't have an awful lot of horses, but whatever I had, he, he was free to ride it, you know. He wrote 11 grade ones for you, that's some record. Yeah, just was, I was a bit surprised myself, like, yeah, yeah, well, six of them were on solid, like, and two on weapons, amnesty. I think two on Colleen Allen and one on Pitoni, so, yeah, so I suppose there's only win, I mean, just to, to saw how to, if I could win one more, <laughs> I'd be happy you now, you know, just to, to kind of saw how to win these grade ones. But, uh, yeah, look, um, he was, um, I ah, sure he has been brilliant all, all his life. And obviously he didn't ride, he couldn't ride Solwit. I think he had a punctured lung, didn't he, that year, the Cheltenham Festival, and Paul Carberry came in and won in the horse and uh, replaced him on Solwit to win the Stairs Hurdle. Yeah, I suppose like that was that was a big disappointment, all right, like, you know, he, he not to ride him, and he didn't ride him to win the grade one in the entry, it was three weeks later. You know, that was, uh, that was, but sure, that's, that's racing, you know. Um, but you look, he's written, I don't know how many great ones he's written after after that, like, you know what I mean? But, um, I know, so look, he has been, the amazing thing about it was he seemed to be still writing as good as ever, like, you know what I mean? It was unbelievable. What made him so good? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I suppose he, he really wanted it, like, you know, and he worked very hard at it, like, he really wanted it to be good, like, you know what I mean? He, uh, if we thought if asked him to write a bit of work with all this, it was never a problem, like you know, and he he really wanted to get to the top. I know, I know he did, like you know, from day one, it was obvious, like he wanted to go right to the top, you know. And he was equally as good in an 80 to 95 handicap hurdle as he was in the grade one. Actually, he was like he was even better than him, <laughs> you know. So he was, uh, he was brilliant, like you know, brilliant. Uh, he wrote, a, he wrote a good treble for me in Roscommon one day. Yeah, yeah very good treble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. There was no one else. You'd went on your side heading out for the last one, and, uh, you know. I said the book is new, <laughs> new double ghost at that stage. <laughs> 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 you know, but like he, early on in the race, you'd know, like, you know, I'm sure you know yourself, you know. And I remember when I took on Davy, he was going through the different trainers he rides for, and he says, Charles Burns rings looking for me, just say yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you well, were rarely wrong, to be fair. When you rang looking for Davy, he'd some strike rate for you. Yeah, he yeah, had, like, you know, back then. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I should look, I wouldn't have used him unless I thought we had, we had a chance, you know. And, uh, yeah, I should look, we, we had a good old partnership, you know. And pressure, the bigger the day, or the bigger the pressure on him, he excelled. And there was a lot of pressure, obviously, on him in Roscommon that day with the treble. I should look. That wasn't really. <laughs> that was only that was only a day's walk for Davy, you know. Um, you know, I mean, I suppose the real pressure on uh, the DNA entry is probably the day that really stand out for me. You know, it was one of the, it was the first real big race, like as far as I was concerned. The a entry hall, the Solvents first grade one, you know. I thought, and he gave it a fantastic ride at that, you know. Um, 
some some of the great ones he won like wouldn't have been as competitive, you know. Um, you know, there have been only four and five of us kind of things. But um, the day and entry, I thought that, that that was fantastic. And of course, he got that horrific fall. Sorry for reminding you about this yeah, now. Dr. Yeah. Duffy of your Dr. own yeah, horse. Yeah. Nobody thought he would come back. And he was in the, the back nine of his career at that stage. What was he? He was probably 39, 30, yeah. 40, I'd say, at the time. He was out for 11 months, but... Davy just showed the resolution of him. Yeah, yeah. To come back. Look, look uh, as, um, yeah, it was a bad fall, you know, and very bad injuries, you know. I mean, he to come back after that was unbelievable. I don't think anyone really expected him deep down to come back after that. Maybe, maybe that's why he came back. I don't know, but like, I remember the first day he came back, he rode above in down Patrick, I think, and you'd swear he was never away for a day. Like, I couldn't believe it, like, you know, when I saw him riding that day. And he was gone for 11 months? He was gone for 11 months. It was like as if he was, he was only gone for 11 days. You know, it was unbelievable, you know. And his battle, when he finished up yesterday in Liberty Dance, at 43 years of age, was just as good as it was when he started 23, 24 years ago. Yeah, that's, that's the amazing thing, like, isn't it? You know, that is the amazing thing, you know. And, yeah, like... His record in Cheltenham I'm sure, was un un unbelievable. Like you know, he was awesome there, wasn't he? He, he was relished. Awesome. He relished the build up to Cheltenham. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He did, yeah. He did, yeah. Cheltenham. He was really out on his own. Do you know, you, you had Ruby and of course Barry and do you know what I mean, Paul, Paul Calvary and Paul Downham. Do you know what I mean? But Davy, Davy was a match to him there. He's not better even, you know. And of course, he's the final one of what was a golden generation of. Jump jockeys, Ruby, Barry, Paul, AP Mackay, Dickie mm -hmm. Johnson as well. Yeah, yeah, he is really into like, you know, I mean, there's no new batch there, Robbie Paul's gone as well, you know, new batch there, well, Paul Town is, is probably, he's still a young man, you know, and he is the, probably the main man now, and Jack Kinder, she's only 23 or 4, so, yeah, there's a new, new, new batch there now, so, I'd say what's, what's there at the moment, they'll be there for, Good for you, else, you know. Great stuff. Well, Charles, thanks for having a chat with us and uh, brings back some good memories and uh, plenty of good memories for you, yourself and David, long association, 11 grade ones, and that day in Ross Common. That'll live long in the memory. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. <laughs> thanks very much. Cheers, Charles. All right, cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.